Hello. Hello. I'm Caitlin Powell. And I'm Kate Butch. And this is Queers Gone By, the show we talk about nostalgic film, TV and snacks and try to work out if that's what made us queer. Today. Today. Oh, today we're doing a very exciting one. Oh, so excited. Um, much requested, much referenced yes. in this podcast. Really? <laughs> I think there's one episode where we just shout the lyrics oh. at the opening. Wow, well, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Which we'll oh. we'll recreate in a second. <laughs> we will. Um, before we do, should we have our nostalgic snack? Yes. Oh yes, yes. You've these... you've been in charge of coordinating the snack. Yeah. Well, this is very nostalgic for me. I used to have. I used to be obsessed with these. I. Anytime think I went to the them. cinema. What? The cinema. I wouldn't have had them at the cinema. Um, I, I, I'll give it a go. Well, I'm obviously going to have it, but oh it's not been. I can't open it. Oh no. <laughs> well, that's the end. <laughs> oh no. Oh. oh. Oh my god. There we go. Oh, there she is. So it's like a strawberry lace. But thicker and fuller. Thicker, yes. Thank you. It's a strawberry pencil. Strawberry pencil. With the little so is this, sugary bit in the middle. Is it vanilla inside? Do you remember Mivy? What's that? Mivy. It was like a um, oh, vanilla ice back. cream with a strawberry outer. Oh, no, I don't It was really that. good. This is like um, like they put icing in the middle. It's oh, yes. It's just sugar. Shall we cheers? cheers? It? Whack em. Whack em. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Whack your pencils along with us. Good, isn't it? It's nice. I prefer it to a strawberry lace. Do you? Mm-hmm. Chonkier. I don't want to bite the hand that feeds me, but I just think I prefer a strawberry wow. lace. Wow. <laughs> horses for courses. Tip for tat. <laughs> Scout for girls. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. There we go. Mm. I mention Scouting for Girls a lot in this podcast. Do you? Um, and I don't know any of their songs. What do they sing? Mm. She's so lovely. Oh, yes. And there's bowling for soup as well. Are they the same? Mm, probably. Yeah. White men singing. Yeah. I remember once, um, we both, listeners, we both went to the University of York. We did. And we both lived very close to the uh, theatre, the big grand theatre. Did we? Yes. Not like the main one, but there was like... There's the Theatre Royal... Yeah. And there's the Grand Opera House. There's the one where all, like, the comedians and the musicians... The Barbican. To. I think that's it. The one we live near. The Barbican. And I was once walking home, and there was a massive crowd outside. And I was like, oh my God, who is it? And there's tour buses, and people going crazy and screaming. And I asked this man, who's coming out? And he was, like, bowling for soup. And I was like, oh. <laughs> okay. I think for one of their pantos, they did have Raven. What? I think. What is Raven's new show? Oh, it's. I don't think it's Raven. It's something like Raven's Quest, isn't it? Yeah. What I don't is it? think it's actual. Ra- it's just a guy with a dark beard. Oh. Who's making people do? Ch- is it on like Dave or something? So on, Sky something. Sky something. Yeah. Yeah, I see. I see a lot of adverts for it on the tube. Yeah, me too. But if anyone knows what it is, do you please let Raven's us know. Raven's Quest or something. Yeah. Anyway, we're not talking yeah. about that. No, we're not. We. We're oh. getting the limo out front. <laughs> Hardest styles. Every shoe. Every colour. You know, when you're famous. <laughs> it can be kind of fun. Kind of fun. Um, it's really you. <laughs> but. No one ever discovers. <laughs> Don't who, carry on. No, fine. Who would have thought that a girl like me. <laughs> would double. As a superstar. <laughs> <laughs> you get the best of both worlds. You do. You're chilling out. Take it slow. But then. You rock out the you show. You rock out the show. Get out. <laughs> There's no stopping you. You get the best of both worlds. Mix it all together, together. and you know yeah. it's, it's the, the best, best of both, both worlds. Ha 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 That laugh haunts my dreams. <laughs> it's Hannah Montana! It's Hannah Montana! Oh, it's oh. a modern day Superman story. <laughs> <laughs> She's the Clark Kent little queers always ask for. <laughs> She's the Clark Kent of country music. <laughs> She's Clark Kent in sequins. <laughs> it's great. She's basically a drag queen. Yeah, sure. Yeah. We're saying that. <laughs> well, if you don't know Hannah Montana... Um, where the fuck have you been? <laughs> Basically, Miley Stewart. Yes. Played by Miley Cyrus. Why did they bother doing that? I don't know. To protect her identity. <laughs> <laughs> Except Disney absolutely did not do that. No. <laughs> they carted her around and went, look at the child singing. <laughs> dance, monkey, dance. Give her issues. <laughs> <laughs> She'll grind on Robin Thicke in about ten years. <laughs> Is that his name? She'll have a big foam finger, yes. God. Okay. I think someone played Blurred Lines in a public place that I was in Ugh. recently. Why? Like, number one, it's not a good song. No. Number it's two, got it's that annoying little... Um, a bad song. 
uh, it's got the Pharrell Williams production on it. So it's kind of groovy and you're like, oh shit, you're dancing along. And then you're like, oh no. Oh no. This is about assault. <laughs> it's not about assault. It's, um, <sighs> anyway. Anyway, Miley Stewart <laughs> yes. um, is uh, also international superstar, Hannah and Montana. Montana. Um, working title, Alexis Texas. <laughs> Wait, what? Genuinely. I hate that. <laughs> when it was oh in God. development, they were going to call it Alexis Texas. Wow. Like, I don't know. Carrie D. Tennessee. Like, what? Did they just go through <laughs> yeah, all of them? So. Wow. <laughs> Kirsty New Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> Elaine Maine. <laughs> Where is Elaine Main? <laughs> Elaine the Main. <laughs> Elaine the Main. <laughs> yes. And she plays Hannah Montana, which yes. is her in a wig. Mm-hmm. Um, much like my drag. <laughs> it's just me in a wig. Yeah. <laughs> um, and, uh, but she also has a double life at school. Yeah. Or she lives a real life in school. Mm-hmm. And then at night, she's got a blonde wig on. Yeah. And she's singing songs. And I think this really... I don't know, highlights to me why child stars are not in regular school. Because how the hell would you perform all night and then go to school the next day? Exa- well, yeah. Just... Exactly. Mm-hmm. When you're at that age, 14 yeah, or whatever. you need a little kip. You do. They go back home at the very end and have ice cream sundaes. No, she needs, you know, a little nighttime tea. <laughs> a crumpet. <laughs> a crumpet. <laughs> Get a little fuzzy socks on. Do her homework. When, do, when does she do her homework? Put a plush unicorn in the microwave. Sorry? Do you remember those, those like, animals that are full of beans or whatever and you warm them up? Oh. Actually, they're in LA, they don't need that. Putting a plush unicorn in the microwave sounds like you're coming out. <laughs> Has he, you know, put the plush unicorn in the microwave? <laughs> also sounds like a horrible sex act. <laughs> it does, yeah. Are you the plush unicorn in the microwave? Type yourself. <laughs> <laughs> You're the plush unicorn. <laughs> I think I might be the microwave. <laughs> well, horses for courses. <laughs> Bowling for soup. <laughs> and scouting for girls. Scouting for girls. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Um, and she's singing songs in studio, st- oh, stadium arenas. Yeah. Like the classic, This Is The Life. Do you remember that at all? A little bit. Oh, of course this you do. This is the life, hold on tight. I had no record. This is the dream. Okay. <laughs> it's all I need. What other what other hits do you remember? Nobody's perfect. Oh my god, actually, yes. Everybody gets mistakes. Everybody, Everybody has, has those days. days. Everybody knows what, what I'm talking about. Everybody gets that way. Yeah. Uh, if we were a movie. Oh my god, is that her? Yes. Oh sorry. Not oh. to be confused with Take a Bow. Because you Which is also cinematography show. related. Oh yeah. 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 But if we were a movie. Is it, if I it's don't her. really remember that if one. If we were a movie... Oh, I do remember that one. You'd be the right guy. And I'd be the best friend that you'd fall in love with in the end. Um, and that's it, <laughs> from what I remember. Oh. She had albums. Al- albums, remember, plural. Al- plural albums. Should wow. I have a quick Google? Didn't she... Do you remember The Climb? Was that her oh, or was that technically oh. Miley? Also, um, the movie had that... Pop it, lock it, <gasps> poke it, dart it, country fire yes. and hip hop. The hoe down, throw down. Walk in the silence, side to side. How do I remember the lyrics? Jump to the left, left, stick it, glide. Zigzag, zigzag cross the, the floor, shuffle in diagonal. When the drum hits on your hips, one foot in, one eighty, twist to the other. Zigzag, step side, lean it left, and clap three times. <laughs> to toe, throw it all together, that's how we roll, etc. The hoe down. Oh, who said, who said something? Who said what? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> um, and there's one about a rock star. I, I do remember a few of these. In line, the cups I'll never get Not it. that one. Is that the second podcast in a row I've referenced that? <laughs> <laughs> May well be. <laughs> uh, but, but yeah. Um, so she has some hits. Yes. And they choose a boring one to start with, but that's fine. You've got to start at the bottom yeah. and go, go up. And then a man in an ugly shirt tells her tells us. Yes, it's like she's, Hannah Montana. It's It's... It's a Shrek green shirt. The best kind of green. Mm. <laughs> I prefer a forest. Um, he tells us that she's 14 and she's a superstar and she's selling out. Yeah, she's she done a show in LA. Yeah. She's sold out. And mm. everyone's like, oh my God, she's sold out in Los Angeles. It's like, you don't really say where. Yeah. Like, is it the Hollywood Bowl? Is it a bar? Yeah. <laughs> 
Also, considering the whole point is that she's sold out, the plot revolves a lot around people getting tickets for the show. <laughs> <laughs> it's really weird. Yeah, but like, does she have like a comp? Does she have a guest list? I don't know. She has seats. Yeah. A box. A box. Maybe. Mm. We have been in a box at the we O2. Have. We saw Little Mix. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and then we... We, uh, we cut to her house and we're introduced to William Ray Cyrus. <laughs> <laughs> Her actual dad, yeah, and country music legend, Billy Ray Cyrus. Billy Ray Cyrus. Mm. Um, don't tell his heart, his achy breaky heart. Dun, 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 dun. My achy breaky heart. <laughs> um, did he remix that recently? He did Old Town Road. That's it. Um, and uh, Miley Cyrus's godmother. It's Dolly Parton. Dolly Parton. She appears in Hannah Montana. <gasps> she does, doesn't she? Mm-hmm. Yes, and I think Miley Cyrus does a cover of Jolene. Which isn't too bad. She sings pretty well. Part in the USA. <gasps> not Smiley. That's just Miley Jack. Yeah. I'm sorry. I hate to break it to you, Caitlin. <laughs> they are the same person. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? <laughs> God, I was so into Can't Be Tamed. I don't remember, Do you remember that one. That? She's in a bird cage. I can't be tamed. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. And there's lots of walking. <laughs> I haven't seen the video. <laughs> I can't remember. And there's seven things. Seven things I hate about you. Oh, uh, don't you wish that you could be a fly on the wall? A creepy little, sneaky little fly, fly on, on the wall. wall. <laughs> wow, and the did, oeuvre is impressive. And did she date all of the Jonas Brothers? Did she? Or was that Demi? I don't know. I don't know. Well. 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 She definitely did some things with the Jonas Brothers. Yes. Have you seen the concert, the video of her in the concert where she's replaced by a body double and the body double is definitely like a 50-year-old man? What? No. Wait, as a comedy bit? No, 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 no. Like, as like a costume changey bit. Oh, no. So they're rocking out and like... Yeah. <laughs> this body double has the wig covering the... F- I'll put it on the Instagram. Okay. That quiz gone by. Um, speaking of, um, I noticed the... W- she- Miley Cyrus has a tiny, tiny body. Yeah. And the biggest fucking head I've ever seen. Yeah, she's a little bobble head, isn't she? <laughs> and especially when you put a wig over that... Well, it probably doesn't There's probably two wigs. Because I don't think that brown hair, that's a wig. But- Shit's a wig. <laughs> Shh, it's a wig. <laughs> she's got two wigs. I don't think when she's got the blonde wig on, they make her wear the brown one underneath. <laughs> oh, wait, you may be right. She's overheating. Well, but like, do... Walt Disney's there, like, no. Must... <laughs> you must. Also, I'm a Nazi. Um... I'm a frozen Nazi. <laughs> she, like, but they must when she has to, like, in the first scene where she has to take the wig off and run and change Oh, them. yes. Yeah. Okay, you, you, you are right there. Thank you. <laughs> so she does have a huge fucking head. Yeah. She also, in this scene, has an excellent costume. Very Dolly Parton, very country yes. diva. Yes, it's it is. pink and it's got little, like, tool, like, mesh puffy sleeves. Mm, we love a puffy sleeve. We do. Trend alert, coming back. Everything's got Did a puffy sleeve Did it go away? Well, I don't know. In my mind, it never went away. Because it shows that you're rich. Ah. Because you oh, can afford more fabric. I see. Fabric. How much is your fabric? <laughs> have you seen that? <laughs> It's like this, it's a vine, I think. Okay. And it's this shop in Liverpool. And there's like, uh-huh. I'm not exaggerating, maybe about a hundred signs okay. that say, <laughs> yes, all I fabric, have... three pounds. <laughs> and then this guy goes inside and goes, how much is your fabric? fabric? <laughs> yes, I have seen that. <laughs> wow. Um, um, and then Lily turns up. Oh no, the designer, costume designer. Yeah. Fermine? Americans love a camp European moment, don't they? <laughs> that they can bounce off of and go, no, you are abnormal. Like, <laughs> That's all the jokes are. Yes. Him being a bit camp and um, not Millie Bobby Brown. Miley Cyrus. <laughs> no, Billy Ray Cyrus. Billy Ray Cyrus. <laughs> Bobby Brown. <laughs> right, I'm going to Photoshop like a soul patch Please do. on Millie Bobby Brown. <laughs> Um, and just Billy Ray Cyrus being like, oh, I don't think so, Mr. Gay Man. Like, that's the whole thing. That's, those are all the laughter traffic. If the South had won, you'd oh be God. dead. Oh <laughs> wow. Is Billy Ray Cyrus a confederate? That's the question. He's a little liberal boy, isn't he? Is he? Oh, know. he did a song with the gay man. Yeah. Little, little, yeah. little, little, Nas. little Nas X. What does the egg stand for? He's cross. Extremely gay. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see his pink Versace number? Probably. Oh, it's cool. <laughs> Did you, you know, see his pink Versace number? <laughs> <laughs> Only if you're lucky. <laughs> <laughs> Play your cards right, you can see my pink Versace number. <laughs> Love it. 
Um, um, so uh, the, the, she's got a designer in. Oh, he's like, you're look gorgeous. <laughs> God. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, Again. oh, I picked my finger. Never mind. I kissed it. <laughs> yeah. Um, um, yeah, he he's joining a, the, the... He strains his ass at one point. Oh, he rips his trousers. I think. Yeah, but he talks about how much his butt is hurting at one point, doesn't he? Or not? Well. Well, you know, <laughs> might be a separate issue. <laughs> oh, I couldn't walk for days. <laughs> um, yeah, he joins the line of, like, Giorgio from the Liz Maguire movie. Yeah, that's what I was And thinking. Esteban yeah. from Sweet Life. Mm-hmm. Um, just Tap the European men, yeah. but Americans to go, huh? At. Like, that's the whole joke. Um, and then Lily... In comes the brother. Oh, the brother Jackson. Jackson. Who looks like he's probably committed a crime since this filming. Oh, I've, I've, have you seen a picture of him recently? No. I, he definitely looks like... He looks like a school shooter in this. <laughs> I know I say that You about... think anyone with long hair... I think anyone who's blonde is a school shooter. <laughs> <laughs> I'm blonde. Well... <laughs> and you're absolutely right. Oh my God. <laughs> no, but he just looks a bit... Also, his treatment of women is... He's an insult, is what I'm saying. He's... Uh, yeah. Yeah. I used to be quite attracted to him. Okay. That's before I knew any better. Okay. I still don't know any better. <laughs> I'm waiting for this day to happen. <laughs> Even when... Wait, do you have a picture of what he looks like now? Or are you just I have guessing? definitely seen them from oh what God. I can remember. Are you still attracted to him? No. Good. You know who I am still attracted to? Billy Ray Cyrus. Billy Ray Cyrus. Good. okay. All the things I do to that soul patch. <laughs> <laughs> Give it a little lick. <laughs> soul patch it's the little bit on your chin oh i thought it was his hair i was like that's clearly a mullet but oh yeah oh that little thing yeah okay the things i did to that mullet as well isn't that a goatee what's the difference a goatee i think is on your actual the the soul patch is the bit like in the little bevel bit oh i see got you but i think he's got you can have both oh i think and does he have both i think so okay (laughs) well when i do the photoshopping onto millie bobby brown (laughs) then we'll find out (laughs) Um, <laughs> uh, and then, oh, when I mean, he's like, I have sweet talk to lady, yeah, who is twice my height. Mm-hmm. We later learn yes. um, <laughs> to uh. come to to come to my Hannah Montana concert. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, there's a little joke where he's like, "Can we please not have a conversation about Hannah Montana?" Hey, baby, I'm gonna get some Hannah Montana yeah. tickets. Can I have some Hannah Montana tickets? I'm sold. I'm sold out. Mm-hmm. Um, the thing I will say about every person in this show. Is they've clearly been told once or twice about comic timing. <laughs> like, they know the basics. <laughs> this... Have you seen the SNL sketch? It's called, like, Disney Channel Acting School. Oh, no. Miley Cyrus is in it. <gasps> she's having a great... She's taking the piss out of herself so Love much. That. Um, and there's like, there is only three rules that you need to learn at the Disney Channel Acting School. <laughs> um, number one, wear the brightest mis- mismatched clothing you possibly can. <laughs> I mean, yeah, we'll Number get to two, it. how to peer around doors. <laughs> there's like a whole stack of the peer around the door. Yes. And <laughs> number three, everyone in the scene has to be louder than everybody else. Oh, my God. So, yeah. Lily appears <laughs> and it gets about 80% louder. So you know how in bogeys in Dick and Dom yeah. every, every, everyone has to be louder yeah. than the one before it. Uh-huh. That's what this is. Mm-hmm. It's like, I've got tickets to go to Hannah Montana. I can't go to Hannah Montana. <laughs> but why not? <laughs> it's so much. My God. Yeah, so she's like, um, guess what? I've got your best friend in the world. I've yeah. got... Oh, but they have to... Before Lily comes and in. And Lily's like, I'm on my way in 18 seconds. Which is like, weird, but sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and they have to sort of hide all the evidence of Hannah. Yes, snatching wigs. Stunting what? I don't know. No. <laughs> um, and they're like, Lily alert. And they yeah. like throw all the things away mm-hmm. and hide, hide the wigs. Yeah. Hide your kids, hide your wife. Because <laughs> Jackson's around. Hide your wigs, hide your wife. <laughs> um, and hide your husband. Um, and then Lily turns it up on her Jack skateboard. in the 40s. <laughs> <laughs> and um, then he turns up screaming yes. god she's so loud but i definitely fancied her i, I know you did so much. <laughs> as soon as she came on i was like oh here's another one. Oh god here's another jeanette mccurdy <laughs> an angry butch girl her brother yeah can see dead people oh i knew about this yes mm, and he's also that robot pinocchio from that robin williams film what? ai artificial intelligence that's oh, the one. okay is robin williams in that Oh, no. Is it like Jimmy Cricket? I don't know. Did you know, uh, what's her name? Em- the, the actress. Emily Osmond. Yes. Uh, she had a go at a singing career. Oh, no. Yeah. 
Leave that to Miley. Mm -hmm. What did she sing? Do we know? Um, she did a cover of a song. Hang, you, you do. Let's sing. Google it. Yeah, I, I, I bought it because I was obsessed with Emily Osmond. Emily um, Osmond. It wasn't fantastic. Wait, was it a cover or was it just a bad song? So her top song on Spotify is Truth or Dare? No, it's not that one. Oh, this looks far too recent. Oh, that was 2010. I, d I don't think about it was that's, her original. Oh, that's How the does one it go? I've heard. Sing it, sing a bit. Sing a snatch of it. To I me. don't think about it. I don't think about it. And then we're like <laughs> Well, I shall listen to that after this. Yeah. How exciting. It's <laughs> awful. Um oh, uh, she's got an album called Fight or Flight from 2010. Oh god. The second song is called Get Your Yaya's Out. <laughs> I won't, Emily. Emily, no. Emily. <laughs> keep your yaya's in. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to release a song. Brackets for the lads. <laughs> keep your yaya's in. Keep your yaya's in, please. Um, wow. we've, not, we've not even finished the cold open. <laughs> she's oh, like, yes. I've got two tickets to Hannah Montana. And she's like... Ah! Again, comedy. Ah! <laughs> Why aren't you screaming? And Jack is like, oh, believe me, she's screaming on the inside. And we have the amazing theme tune. Yes. Best of both worlds. Yes, which we recreated. We did. Um, and um, ends with her. <laughs> she, she spins around, changes <laughs> wigs, and then she goes, ah, ha, 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 ha. Yeah. And it's unpleasant. Yes. And then they're in school. Yes. And she's they're like... getting lunch. Yes. In the cafeteria. And, and instead of going, oh, you can't go? That's unfortunate. Lily's been like, I'm going to get louder. <laughs> and then she's like, why can't you go? Why can't, why can't you go? And she's like, oh, I want to spend... Um, oh, I want to spend quality time with my brother. And it's like, it's literally your job to lead a double life. Yeah. Why are you not better at excuses? More excuses? Also, the fact they're still having this conversation implies it's been going on for a while. It's lunchtime. They've yeah. been together since the morning. Mm -hmm. Oh. But then. But like, why didn't... What, what excuse would you... You'd be like, oh, you'd sorry, like I'm going a, to a funeral or something. Yeah. My I, dad won't let me. Yeah. I, there are so many excuses. Also, apparently, mm -hmm. I was Wikipediaing it. Yes. Um, Halabontana.wiki.com. <laughs> in the law, in the canon. Um, Billy Ray Cyrus is also a big country music star in the, in the show. Oh. What? But he's called, like, Billy Ray Stewart or something. <laughs> Millie Bobby Brown. <laughs> Millie Bobby Brown. Yeah. Um, is his right. uh, pseudonym. Um, so. But then do they not know? I mean, obviously, like, children nowadays don't know who Billy Cyrus is. Yeah, but... Well, they do now, but... Um, I imagine, so, if Lily's hanging around at that house a lot, surely their mum or dad's going to be like, that's the country music star. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Or you just I mean, Google them. Yeah, or maybe, I guess, country music in LA might not be that big. Potential. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I know of, like, one male, apart from Millie Bobby Brown. No. <laughs> 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 Fuck. Um, bi uh, Billy Ray Cyrus. Yeah. I know of one other male country music star. Orville Peck. Oh, no. Um, Bill Nas X. Um, Chris Stapleton. I don't know who that is. Well, yeah. The, oh, Brett. Uh, uh, All right. There's the one who was, no, who was the sexiest man alive and is the definition of milk toast. <laughs> Milky toast. And he was on The Voice. Oh. I can't remember his name. Is Orville Peck the one who wears, like, a mask? Yes, Orville Peck's the other gay, the other gay country singer. Ah, oh, there's two. Yes. Nice. Um, what is his name? What is his name? Who? The guy, the guy, the sexy guy. Oh, I don't know. Um, never mind. We'll find out at some point. Sure. Um, so I, yeah, I so think he's it's, it's you, conceivable like, Google... that, that people wouldn't know who a country music star was. Yes, but at the same time, me and my friend would always, like, Google our parents and each other's parents. Really? Would you never do that? Like, no. just bit, like, um, so I just let people live their lives. My dad has the name, the same name as a spy. Oh, really? Who was killed under mysterious circumstances. Oh, Oh, uh, and, and then the... he met your mum. Your parents met in Berlin. <gasps> oh! My parents are spies. Yeah. Um, but um, I googled my dad's name, and mm. it was like, how he died! And I'm like, what? <laughs> oh. Dad? <laughs> um, Blake Shelton. I've heard that name. Blake Shelton. What's He's it look like? married to, um, not Gwyneth Paltrow, the other one. Kate Blanchett? Gwen Stefani. Oh. Begins with the same letters. Sure. Kate Blanchett, how dare you? Kate How dare you put Kate Blanchett and Gwyneth Paltrow in the same... I found out Kate Blanchett has named one of her children after Roman Polanski. 
Oh no. Disgusting. What she have she called them all Roman? I don't know. <laughs> Roman and Polanski. <laughs> so the only safe one left is Tilda Swinton. Oh no. She would never betray us. I'm gonna see what her children are called. <laughs> this is just me googling. Um Oh, she used to live in Brighton. Did she? Yes. Good for her. Um oh yeah, there's one child called Roman, yeah. Another called Polanski. There's not another one called oh. Polanski. <laughs> Oh, that's a shame. Yeah. And she did a Woody Allen film. Mm-hmm. Which was a good film, but that was only because it was Streetcar Named Desire. He did He did that? Blue Jasmine. Oh, is it Streetcar Named Desire? It's basically Streetcar Named Desire. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, and it has Sally Hawkins in. <gasps> off Paddington. Oh, Sally. <laughs> Tr- yeah. This was a... This was a what, oh, mm. Mm. I don't know. Did you see uh, the thing where um, people were ranking the best... Uh, what's it called? Best Picture winners from the last 10 years. And what did they put at the top? So, like, it was either Get Out or Parasite that people were putting at the top. But they were ranking... Best Picture nominees? No, like, the the winners. Get Out didn't win. It did. Best Oscar? Best Picture? No, it didn't. It did. Last year, it's Green Book. Yeah, Green Book was also on the list. Why was Get Out on the list, then? Get Out. Best Screen... It was a category where all of them had won. Okay. Um... And then they were leaving out Midnight in Paris and Green Book and being like, ha, 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 there were only eight like winners in the past ten years, but then they were leaving Django Unchained. And I was like, you know, Quentin Tarantino is trash. <laughs> like, why are we pretend? Just because you're a film bro doesn't mean you get to pretend that Quentin Tarantino isn't trash. <laughs> I also hated Midnight in Paris. It's Woody Allen. I'd... Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Is it like the weird watercolour one? It's Van Gogh-y. Yeah. Ugh. I don't know. Monet? When will men stop being obsessed with Vincent van Gogh? I don't know. And I say that as an art history person. Like, y- yes, qualified stop art history it. person. <laughs> like, I get it. He was depressed. Lots of people are de- I just... The I only can't. good discourse on Vincent van Gogh is <laughs> in How to Gatsby is Ninette. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> if you haven't seen Ninette, watch Ninette. It's on Netflix. Aren't you talking about Picasso? No, van... Oh, yeah, it was Picasso. Oh. Yeah, Picasso. Was well, okay, Picasso. there's not even any good discourse on van Gogh. No, I just... <laughs> Sorry about it. Men need to stop telling me their favourite artist is Van Gogh. That's all I'm saying. Any men who have ever painted a trash. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we can say that. Uh, Matisse. Oh, I think he was a bit dodgy as well. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I, uh, this is, I'm trying to think of... Um, shout out to Harriet Brain. Friend ah. of the pod, Harriet Brain. Yes. Go on a SoundCloud. She does great songs about artists. Mm-hmm. Cezanne. His poor wife. Yeah, wasn't he like... Awful and his wife just looks so sad. <laughs> anyway, um... I can't believe there's a fucking Gogan exhibition. It's like he raped like young women in like where'd you go? It's almost Africa? as if men can get away with terrible things. It's almost like they can. I did Roman Polanski's Macbeth for GCSE English. Wait, why did he do Macbeth? He directed Macbeth. It was leave um, it alone. <laughs> it was produced and financed by Hugh Hefner. What? There's why so can... many boobs in that film. Why can no one leave Macbeth and Hamlet alone? Just just leave it know. for a bit. Can we have five years of just none of that shit? <laughs> just cancel Shakespeare. <laughs> Unless it's got Britney Spears songs in it. it well. Shout out to Anne Juliet, friend of the pod. <laughs> <laughs> right, how long anyway, are we talking about? Anyway, she's like, oh, sorry, I can't come to the concert. Yeah. Um, and then who should show up? It's Corbin Blue. Friend of the pod, Corbin Blue. <laughs> <laughs> As Johnny Collins. I'd like to see his Johnny Collins. Oi, oi. Oi, oi. <laughs> 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 um, and she's so distracted by talking to him that she's pumping ketchup yeah. onto her hand and they're like why have you like covered a, your hand in it's ketchup it's the makings of comedy <laughs> like somewhere in there there's something <laughs> and it's then in, a situation instead of going oh lots of ketchup on my hand she goes it's moisturising and grabs his hand and rubs it into his hand and he's like oh it is oh it is soft yeah <laughs> soft, soft hands Ugh. I bet Corbin Blue has really soft hands I bet he does you're not wrong. And I bet he knows how to use them. Mm-hmm. Oh, fucking hell. Why did you say mm-hmm? <laughs> He'd treat you right with Corbin Blue. Do you not think... Yeah. Aren't you the one who says he's really ugly now? Someone's told me he's really ugly. Who now. has said that? I don't know. He's been on Broadway. <laughs> Good for him. I think Corbin Blue has kind of made something for himself. Good. I'm glad. Yeah. I think it goes Zac Efron. Mm-hmm. Corbin Blue. And then everyone else below it. <laughs> and then under them, Vanessa. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> um, and then they're, they're talking about how, ah, uh, um, Miley, yeah, 
Miley. Yes, she's fancied Corp Johnny for years. Oh my God, why doesn't she just go for it? And she's like, I can't go for it. And Lily's like, go for it. And I'm like, no, you just catch up to him. <laughs> and she's like, go for it. Have my lucky bracelet oh, yeah. over your ketchupy hands. Yeah. <laughs> she's like, give it an hour. Just g- let the ketchup settle before you go in with your nonsense. Oh, and then they go and sit at his table. Well, they're, they're about to sit at his table. And then Amber and Ashley turn Amber up. Amber and Ashley. Who I definitely fancy to my detriment. They're, they're like, they're mean. Yeah. And camp. Yeah. <laughs> they're mean in fashion. And yeah. it's obviously, that's your type. Yeah, mean in fashion is my type. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> um, um, and they... But then Lily and Miley turn into mean. They do. So... Mean, no fashion. Yeah, Amber and Ashley are like, oh, sorry, we're sitting here. I mean, obviously, they stole their seats. Yeah, because um, they fancy like, Johnny. Yeah. Oh, who doesn't? I'd steal their seats. Yeah. I'd kill for them. No. Um, <laughs> 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 um, and they're like, oh, you can go and sit over there um, on the empty tables with no friends. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, well. You're ugly. <laughs> it's like, you've got a moustache. <laughs> I'm like, some people have different balances of hormones. Mm-hmm. And you've got a zit. I'm like, some, she's a teenager. Yeah. She has excess oil. Just because you've got access to, like, celebrity dermatologists. <laughs> Check your privilege, Miley. <laughs> you are probably a millionaire. Mm-hmm. I'm doing secret millionaire. <laughs> <laughs> What's that from? Oh, oh fuck, no, I created a Graham Linehan. Oh, um, I'm sorry. But Matt Berry's fun. Yes, we like Matt Berry. Um... Uh, and so they go and sit over there at their loser yeah. table. And themselves. then arrives Mitchell Musso, who plays Oliver. Oliver Ormson. Who is... Oliver the- Oaken. No, Oliver Ormson, Ormson is a musical theatre actor. <laughs> <laughs> He's dating Carrie Hope Fletcher. <gasps> really? Mitchell Musso is not dating Carrie <laughs> Hope Fletcher. I think Mitchell Musso might be dead or something. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> he also, in the similar way of Jackson, oh, I think now doesn't look great. Of course he doesn't. And, and um, Gordo. Gordo. Yeah. yeah. And Rico? From- no. Hannah Montana, Rico from Hannah Montana. He's quite fit now. Rico is the mean one. No? Yes. Rico's the really annoying loud one. Oh, the one who... Doesn't narrow it down. Like, um, he's, he's on the beach yes. sometimes Rico. doing tasks. <laughs> yes. <laughs> is that... I got him confused with Beans from Even Stevens. Oh, I can't remember Even... I did watch... Okeechobee! Oh, <laughs> God, okay. Beans is that one. Okay. Beans also turns up in the Cat in the Hat film. Oh. Um, when the cat in the hat pretended to be a pinata and smacked him in the testicles. Yes, of course we can <laughs> watch the cat in the hat film. Although we'd have very little to say about it because it is a perfect film. <laughs> I'm not joking. There's nothing wrong with that film. Okay. Like, there's no plot holes. I... There's no... Everyone has motivations. <laughs> can I tell you about that film? Go on then. I cried. <laughs> was it because you were really sad about it? I was really scared by the cat. To be fair, it's terrifying. I also walked out, I think I've said this before, of Cats vs. Dogs because I was sad the cats were evil. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was very. We need to remake it from the child. cat's perspective. Yes. I was so sensitive. It was as not a, a balance. If the BBC had made it. <laughs> Anyway, the cat in the hat. Yeah. And the video game is great. Okay. Anyway. So, Oliver. Um, <laughs> Oliver Oaken. It's trash. And he's like, hey, ladies. Oh, ladies. Oh, good. Oh, fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. He's 14. Well, just straight, let's say. I don't know. Yeah, actually, that's pretty much it. Someone I know in my school, for their 15th birthday party, their dad hired a stripper. <gasps> what? Mm. Were you there? No, because he was a bully. Oh, fair. <laughs> Were you invited? No, because he was a bully. Okay, and he used cool. to bully me. Well, sometimes... Because, don't know if you can tell... I was gay. <laughs> well, I was just weird and obnoxious. So I, <laughs> but I still got invited that's to stuff. That's code for gay. <laughs> <laughs> I still got invited to stuff, but that's like worse because you're like, your parents are like, you have to go, it's polite. And I'm like, I don't want to go. <laughs> They're mean. <laughs> God, that's my entire childhood. Oh, do you remember, there was a whole thing of like birthday parties. Like if you, if you, if they invite you, you have to invite them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hate that. No. <laughs> because my party would not have a stripper coming out of a cake. There was a cake? There was a cake. Ooh, I'll be there for the cake. <laughs> and the cake. But it's full of stripper. <laughs> In most stripper cakes. How long are they there? Also, is it actual cake? I don't think. I think is it's it just like a, a cardboard. Out- you were in a really good sketch about a stripper and a cake. I was in a really good sketch about a stripper and a cake. And you were French. Yes. And I remember the punchline. Do the punchline. You, you were like, oh, my life is so tricky. Oh. My life is out in the ghetto. In the ghetto. Hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Never not funny. No. Um. Always got to laugh. 
Um, and then Oliver's like, hey, I'm so attracted to Hannah Montana. Yeah, and it's like, I'm going to be mm. Mr. Hannah Montana. And I'm like, Ooh. love the, the gender parity there, mm-hmm. but don't like the sentiment. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. That's awful. Um, yeah. And then... Um, oh, uh, there's the bit where they run to... Why do they run towards them? Oh, because Oliver Oaken goes... You've got a spare oh. ticket to Hannah Montana. And everyone's like, and like ah. a bloody stampede. It's a stampede. Yeah. Too mm-hmm. Then cut to the concert. Or this is, it... is the life. God, we hit twice in this episode. Day. Um, and yeah, then we're backstage and they're doing a little meet and greet. It's time for the meet and greet. <laughs> what? It's Triple A Girls song. Oh, is it? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Um, and who should turn up to the meet and greet? It's Corbin Blue, friend Corbin of the pod, Blue. Corbin Blue. <laughs> and he's um, like, please he's sign this to, to Johnny, my, my, my brother Johnny. Is mm-hmm. his name Johnny? Yeah. Johnny Collins. Collins. Um, but it's like, yeah, my brother Johnny. He, wa- he wanted to be here, but it's for my brother. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and she's like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And it's really clear that he fancies her. And I'm just like, if you were Hannah Montana, would you not be a lot more confident? Like, Miley's just like, oh my god, I can't possibly ask this boy out. And it's like, you have people, like, throwing themselves at your feet every... Yeah. Like, get a bit of confidence, love. If you were Miley Cyrus, you'd be like, hi, I'm Hannah Montana. Yeah. Do you want to fuck me? <laughs> Corbin. That's why I've been saying to people. <laughs> I have Is that why I'm alone? <laughs> Do you want to fuck me? <laughs> Just, if you look through my granddad, every sent message is, Hi, I'm Hannah Montana. Do you want to fuck me? No, if you were putting that on Grindr, you'd get several responses. <laughs> Not from the right people. You'd just though. be going, you get a limo out. <laughs> like, you uh, just get the lyrics. Um, 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 and then she's like, oh, signs it. Oh, yeah. really soft hands. Thanks, it's ketchup. Oh, no. <laughs> and it runs away. And then who else is there? Um, Other people. And then Billy Ray Cyrus in a mullet wig over his mullet. Yeah. He's like, that's enough for today. Yeah. And Go then... buy a record. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, now, that'd be shitty behaviour. There'd be complaints on Twitter. Why? If, oh. Stopping the meet and greet early. True, but did they have... Oh, no, no, there was a sign being like, you need to have a pass to come to the meet and greet. Oh, I see. So they should... They do need to okay. fulfil the meet and greet. Fair. But, like, there's, there's a thing, like... Because she works in the West End. Um, <laughs> there's a whole thing about, like, people complain if they're favourite West End stars don't go to the stage door oh. but it's like that's not their job no it's not but, but if, if you are bought if you're booking yeah, yeah, yeah. offering a meet and greet you need to do the meet and greet yeah yeah um, so. also do children do child actors do meet and greets I hope not well, um, I wonder if because Jojo Siwa was at the O2 recently was she she's the only comparable Hannah Montana for now that I can think of yeah oh my god my friend works at the Wickham Swan What's it's that? a theatre okay they've got um a tribute act to both Jojo Siwa <gasps> and Ariana Grande on the same night. Amazing. I'm going. What are their names? Comp. They have punny names. No, no, no. They're just oh. Jojo tribute. Ariana tribute. I don't know. I'm trying to think of one. There must be some kind of safeguarding issue with these yeah. children. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, um, there's very little have... security. There's very little. Then they have a dead mum reveal. Dead mom, dead mom. Billy it, Ray's just like, your mom would have been proud. And it's like, oh, okay, cool. Here we are. <laughs> Th- thanks for letting us know. <laughs> it's Disney. Yeah. Um, you can't have both parents in Wait, Disney. her mom isn't actually dead, is she? Her real no. mom. Miley Cyrus' mom isn't dead. Yeah. Do you remember there was the alternative ending of the final episode? No. Um, I, it reminded me, the memories came flooding back. <laughs> and she does all these things. The whole, it's the final episode. And there's mm-hmm. a flashback to when she's like eight or whatever. Uh-huh. And she's playing with a little Barbie with long blonde hair, uh-huh. doing singing songs and things. And her dad and her mum are like, come on, it's time to go to bed. Uh-huh. And she's like, one day I'm going to be a huge star. And it's like, you just wizard of Oz'd That's... this whole fucking... Wait, what? The whole thing's a dream. Oh, God. Yeah. That's awful. I hate those things. Yeah. But anyway, her mum's actually dead. <laughs> yes, in this. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, and um, she, while she's getting ready to leave, she Lily, puts on she puts on her like her her robe robe and she puts on like a headband. Doesn't take the wig off. Put, yeah, I'm like, why just just take the wig off? Yeah. If you want the hair out your face, take it off. Yeah. It's because of what's happening next. Yes. Yeah. For plot. Um, Lily is revealed to be a criminal. 
and the security is revealed to be very lax. Yes. <laughs> um, and so she's climbing up the side of the building. Yeah. On Oliver Orms and Oliver Oaken's head. Mm-hmm. And like lifts up the window and falls into a very laboured comedy moment. It's she, about it feels about ten minutes long. Yeah, she falls into the room and she clings to a lamp and then she kicks a vase and. Ugh. Bearing in mind the window's about two feet off the ground. Yeah. And you're like, it, just jump. Just jump. Jump. Um, and then she goes through the whole dressing room like, oh my God, Hannah Montana's hot dogs. Why does she have so many hot oh dogs? Oh my God, Hannah Montana's scarf. Now, are you hot dog or scarf? The two genders. Uh, I think I'm scarf. <laughs> <laughs> I what? don't know what I am. Scarf's a horrible word, isn't it? Scarf. Scarf. <laughs> scarf. 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 <laughs> scarf. <laughs> um. And I'm that scarf. I'm not scarf. I'm scarf. <laughs> And I'm hot dogs, plural. <laughs> a mountain of hot dogs. Are you just a mountain I'm of hot a dogs table in a coat? Creaking, creaking under the weight of a in a, in a trench coat. Yeah. Hot dogs in a trench coat. That's my judgment. <laughs> hot dogs in a trench coat. <laughs> Actually, the other day I did um, put on Instagram that I was um, going to Ikea mm-hmm. and I was going to get a 50p vegan hot dog Ooh. and someone did reply <laughs> I can't remember the name but shout out to you um, 50p vegan hot dog is my gender <laughs> <laughs> yes you are a mountain of 50p vegan hot dogs in a trench in coat, a trench coat. <laughs> <laughs> anyway so um, Miley hears a commotion no yeah. she doesn't actually she comes out completely none the wiser yeah. um, and goes to the other side of the room and then Lily turns around it's like, oh my god, it's Hannah Montana! Ah. And Molly's like, fuck, fuck, oh, what am I going to do? Um, so she pies herself. <laughs> she just sticks her face in a pie, well, which is objectively you? funny. Yeah. <laughs> a pie in the face is funny. That's comedy. <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, why have you done that? And it's like, oh, this is uh, a foaming face wash mm-hmm. pie. See, skincare. She shouldn't be teasing people about acne. <laughs> she knows what, a- I didn't know what a foaming face wash was. No. Age 14. Me neither. Mm-hmm. Which probably would have said I just knew Sudacrem. <laughs> oh God. Okay. Do you remember Sudacrem? I do. You put it on your put it on your spots. That's what I used to do. Oh. I just popped them and moved on. Oh, bloody love a pop in a spot. Oh. You know when it hits the mirror? Yeah. Oh, that sound. Sexy. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> if you know, you know. Um, and um Lily's like, oh my god, Miley's gonna be so shook mm-hmm. about this. Yeah. Let me phone her. Yeah. And beep, 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 Ring, 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 ring. And oh then, my God, your phone's ringing. Yeah. And I'm like, why doesn't she have a work phone? Yeah, I guess she never thought this would happen. Which is fair enough. You don't assume your best friend, like I said, is a criminal. <laughs> but you know she's coming to the concert. Yeah. Tr- yeah. 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 Um, and she's like, that is so weird. Your phone's ringing as well. <laughs> and Miley's like, I'm not going to answer it. That'd be rude. <laughs> that was funny. I'm talking to you. <laughs> Um, and then there's another thing that happens. Oh, and she's like, um... <laughs> Things are constantly happening. You've got a good luck bracelet mm. as well. I gave my friend Miley the bracelet like that, but mine says Lily on it and turns the bracelet over and it apparently says Lily on it as well. Yeah. Crazy. And then she's like, what? what? She kind of might as well look to camera and go, hmm? <laughs> like she's at the office. Yeah. Um, and then Miley's like, whops. <laughs> you got no, me, gal. She does a comedy... Ta-da! Oh, never underestimate the power of a comedy, ta-da. Mm-hmm. It's very good. And then you cut to the sofa. And Miley's trying to persuade Lily that they should still be friends. And Lily's like, how could you lie to me? And, and Miley's like, I'm going to win back your friendship through capitalism. <laughs> Come and look at my walk-in wardrobe. Full of ugly clothes. <laughs> On plastic hangers. Get a velvet hanger. I don't want to get, like, all mommy dearest. But no plastic haggers. Oh, is that ever. the context of that? Yeah. Isn't no it wire no hangers. wire coat wire. hangers? No so wire hangers. Yeah. I thought it was an abortion thing. Oh my god. <laughs> I know that's oh bad. I just didn't know the context. Oh my god. You can cut that if you think it's a bit much. <laughs> no, the things I said in Trace Beaker Part 2. <laughs> <laughs> Tip for tap. Bowling for soup. I, I thought it was weird that RuPaul was laughing so much at it. It's like, pretty sensitive. Oh, um, And wow. that wasn't a joke I genuinely did think. <clears throat> wow. Yeah. Um, 
Anyway, <laughs> um, Lily accidentally calls Miley Hannah. Yes. She's like, come on, Hannah. And Miley's like, what? Yeah. And she starts spinning around on a spinning... Rotating wardrobe. Yeah. Let's rotate the wardrobe. Mm-hmm. And it's, it's hilarious because she's struggling to keep up with the conversation because she's rotating and can't see Miley. Just push the button. Push yeah. the button and let her know. She's next to a stop sign. <laughs> like a, an emergency stop Bitch, button. I just quoted the sugar babes. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Wait, is that the sugar babes? Yes. Push the button and let... Yeah. Me know before I get the wrong idea. Shout out to um, uh, drag queen Glue. Oh. G-L-E-W. Mm-hmm. Um, who does an amazing push the button lip sync. Do check oh. that out. Friend of the pod. Friend of the pod. Don't know if they even listen. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> um, Actually, probably won't. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and then, um, it's oh, the... Miley says, the mistake was trusting you. And I'm like, yes, you messy <laughs> slut. She's currently getting the best of neither world. Yeah. You get the worst. <laughs> of every possible world. Um, and then next day. Yes. Um, Fermin, hmm? the designer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I didn't really get his name. Is it Fermin? Fermin. Fermin. My phone kept autocorrecting it to Ferment. <laughs> Ferment. Let's call him Ferment. Mm. Let's call him Kombucha. <laughs> it's kimchi. <laughs> um, <laughs> I get confused. Is fermenting the same as pickling? Yes. I I don't know, but I'm going to say yes. Pickled egg. Pickled egg. Is that your gender? What? Yes. It's pickled egg. <laughs> um, and um, Jackson <laughs> is trying it on. Yes, which is... Trying the dresses on. Hilarious. Because men in dresses, there's nothing not funny about that. Mm-hmm. 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 Transphobic queen, Miley Cyrus. <laughs> and she's like, you look awful. <laughs> uh, ha, ha, ha. You've got, oh, she's like, daddy, he's gone crazy. Rude. Let your brother express himself. Mm-hmm. Ugh. Clothes aren't gendered. <laughs> Bad feminist, Miley Cyrus. <laughs> Join the club. <laughs> <laughs> also, twerking a Robin Thicke. Well. Is that a bad feminist move? Yes. I'm asking you. Associating you... <laughs> with Robin Thicke. Yes. He's a spokesman of our group. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, um, he's like, oh, it feels a bit weird around the hips. <laughs> and for me, it's like, let's not blame the dress. <laughs> Again, body shaming. Yeah, but I'm all right with that. I don't know why. Body shame men any day of the week. <laughs> body shame Jackson specifically. <laughs> don't body shame men. Body shame... This man. You can't stop me. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Andrus. <laughs> oh no. <Kate> Butch. <laughs> what a shame. Yeah. Um, and then they. Oh, Lily announces herself by rolling her skateboard in, which is the most overdramatic little petty bitch move I've ever seen. Yeah. I'm just going to roll my skateboard into the house. Yeah, I'm not going to window. I'm going to hide and then I'm going to peek over. No, can I come in? Oh, dramatic little. <sighs> and then I can't really remember how it ends. Oh, um uh Kombucha and Millie Bobby Brown go outside. <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> and it's like Brobat Mountain, they're being very flirty. Kombucha's like, "Oh, I've got a very sensitive skin. I need to put on this under cream." Mm-hmm. And Billy Ray Cyrus puts his hat on Kombucha. Mm-hmm. And like that, that's code, isn't it? If you put another piece of your clothing on someone else, yeah. that means you're going to fuck. Mm-hmm. They've gone out to the veranda yeah. to diddle each other. <laughs> Quite. <laughs> <laughs> and then... Billy Rose is really fit, though. Uh... I'd let him diddle me on the veranda. Sure. Diddle me on the veranda, daddy. Oh, God. Tough country, country pancakes, pancakes, daddy. daddy. <laughs> I think Billy Ray is a tough country pancake. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> tough country man cake. <laughs> um, and then how does it end? They're like, I'm not going to tell anyone. We're going to be friends. Yeah. Um, oh, and then she gives her a scarf. This spa- Hannah Montana scarf. Oh, yeah. Scarf. Scarf. <laughs> and um, then at school, they... Put the scarf on the bullies. Either Amber or Ashley. Yeah. They don't they don't specify which is which. No. Um, um they are the only representation of people of colour. Yeah, I noticed that. And too. Corbin Blue. Oh yeah. Friend of the pod. Yes. Um but yeah, I'm like, don't demonize <laughs> the only non white people you have. Disney said, demonize POCs. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he probably did. Yes, he absolutely <laughs> did. <laughs> 
And when they defrost him, he'll be saying the same thing. Oh um, <laughs> and then they put the <laughs> scarf on her. Yeah. And that, that was a really nice thing you did. Why did you do that? Hey, everyone, it's Hannah Montana's scarf! And another mm. fucking stampede. And so ensues. the bullied becomes the bullies. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> They've gone to Belize? <laughs> what? <laughs> but the, the, the bullied become the bullies. Belize? Belize. <laughs> Why are you going to Belize? Belize. Um, and then they get the limo out front. They get the best of both worlds. Mm-hmm. End credits. Ah. Ah. And that's the end. Yes. So. Is it camp? Well, here's the thing. I was thinking about this. It's inspired um, by Dolly Parton, so... Objectively. Objectively camp. Um, it's, it's, when I watched watching it, I was like, people, these people are so dumb. Yeah. You just put a wig on this girl and everyone yeah. is, and then I became a drag queen. <laughs> and people are so dumb. Yeah. <laughs> like, you could put a wig on, they'll be like, I will listen to anything you say. Mm-hmm. Also, you do not exist as a real person. Yeah. You are a commodity. Also, as soon as you take the wig off, I feel like it's like, who are you? You know? Yeah. Like, people don't recognise you if you have a different hair. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, I hope it's, like, tantamount to me being a um, a fantastic makeup artist. Mm. That <laughs> I can be out of drag and say, oh, it's me, Kate Butch. I was here, like, last week performing. Uh-huh. And they're like, what? It's just, yeah. Yeah. The transformation. James and James transformation. <laughs> uh, did it make us queer? Uh, Lily made me queer. Millie Bobby Brown. Yes. For me. Mm-hmm. Billy Ray Cyrus. I, mean, I should. I should clarify. <laughs> yeah, Billy Ray Cyrus. Before, wait, was Millie Bobby Brown even born? It's two thousand and six. How, she's actually she's older than I think she's like twelve, isn't she? Like eighteen now. Let's have a Google. No, I don't think she's eighteen just yet because um, the horrible men on the internet haven't done like a party. Oh, like oh god, the fucking Billy Eilish and Emma. Yeah. yeah, she's sixteen. Okay, and she doesn't need a governess. Sorry. Sound of music. Oh. No? Yeah, I've seen it. I we'll just need don't to watch remember the sound of music at some point. Every element of a script, like you do. <laughs> I'm 16 and I don't need a governess. Um, yes, she is 16. Mm-hmm. Oh, her, sister, her birthday's the day before my sister's. That's nice. Yeah. Well done. Um, yes, so it is camp. Yes. And it made us queer. Yeah. Success. Well done. Yeah. Should you have another pencil? Yes. Let's have the best of both worlds. Thank you. You do get the best of both worlds in this, don't you? You get yeah. the icing and the strawberry. Yes. See? We don't just make this shit up <laughs> whatever's cheapest in co-op it was definitely what was cheapest in co-op um do you subscribe to this podcast if you haven't already yeah um it's, this was a very strange episode it was. we went everywhere yes <laughs> we covered a lot <laughs> um, too much some would say <laughs> i would say um follow us uh on at quiz gone by um leave a review um tell a friend tell an enemy tell corbin blue please do <laughs> go tell it on the mountain um <laughs> Follow me at Kate Butch one on both Instagram and Twitter. And you can follow me at Caitlin R. Powell on Instagram and at Caitlin PWLL on Twitter. Stop looking at me like that. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's cheers these. Cheers. Ch- ch- cheers. Cheers your pencils along with us. <laughs> we no, just whack them. Whack them. Whack, whack em. your pencils. Whack your pencils. <laughs> we keep missing our pencils. <laughs> All right. Goodbye. Right, goodbye. Hot dogs in a trench coat. <laughs>